does your connection keep dropping out? A little bit here, a little bit there, or maybe consistently throughout the day. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you some tips and checks that you can do to get yourself back online. So before we start, when it comes to a drop-in connection or our intermittent connection, these tend to be the longest calls that we have into our tech support department. This is because of the monitoring time it takes between diagnostic checks. But don't worry, I'm gonna walk you through each step that's required so that we can get through this and get yourself back online as quickly as possible. The first thing we need to establish is if your drop-in connection is between your device and your router or if it's between your router and Zen. And the quickest and easiest way for us to do this is by looking at the lights on your router. If your connection drops and your WLAN or LAN lights go out, that would indicate there is a potential issue between your device and your router. However, if it's your DSL light that goes out when your connection drops, that would indicate the issue is potentially between your router and Zen. There are a number of diagnostic steps you can do if this is the case. The first diagnostic step we're gonna do is connect directly into the test socket. Now, if you're unsure on how to do this, there is a video here that will walk you through those steps. Once in the test socket, if you have access to a landline telephone, it is a good time to perform a quiet line test. Now, what this will do is we'll double check if there's any sort of noise or interference on the line that could be causing those drops. If you're unsure of how to do that, click on the link here. If the router that you're using is one that has been supplied by Zen, and is less than 12 months old, this is the only diagnostic step you need to do. And you need to monitor it for 24 hours for any further drops in connection. Should your device drop within that 24 hours, call Zen on the number below. However, if it doesn't drop, that would indicate that the pieces of equipment you've removed, i.e. the face plates of the socket, are faulty and your issue has now been resolved. If, however, your router is over 12 months old or was not supplied by Zen, the next diagnostic step we need to do is to try an alternative micro filter. This is the small white matchbox item that comes with most routers. If you've connected into the test socket and removed a filtered faceplate, you will have already done this step. Now you need to try an alternative DSL cable. Now this is the phone line style cable that connects the router to your micro filter. These aren't router specific. So if you have another one that is known working, you may have had it, still have it from a previous provider, that will work just fine. At this point, the next diagnostic step we need to do, and it's the final one, is to connect an alternative router. If you have an alternative router, it needs to be one that you're able to enter Zen credentials into. So ones from previous providers may be locked to that provider. The credentials you'll need to enter, you can see here in this video, at this stage, once that check has been done, you will need to monitor your connection for a period of 24 hours. If your connection now remains stable, then great news, you've replaced the faulty item. If you've done this in a step-by-step -step manner, the chances are you'll know exactly which item within that chain was faulty. If you have done this all at once and then monitored, great news is you fixed it. If you want to know which the particular item was faulty, you just need to follow these steps in reverse order. If your connection is still intermittent though and has dropped within that 24 hour period, as soon as it drops, call our tech support on the number below and we'll be more than happy to get this looked into for you. If you found this video helpful, click on that like button below. If you want more videos like this, make sure you click on that subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.